Another big group check-in. No long line for this guy. Still got a tracking collar, but I'm pretty much gonna take that off soon. He's off of his tracking collar. He's stopped kind of hanging back. He's more integrated with the group. He's doing great. Ace is great. No tracking collar. Lady's off the long line, right? But she has a tracking collar. Oh, good. And I did have her out with just him. And they actually started to play, which is what I was hoping. Good boy. Good boy, Albus. He had a little snarl at Louie this morning, but was quick and easy checked on that. Good. Good boy, Albus. I have that muzzle on because, because he isn't like her or him or Ace, even Tioga, even you, Fraser. So when he's more warmed up and I can comfortably be out here and not have to be worrying about him getting into it, then the muzzle will come off. But in the meantime, it doesn't need to. It's a great tool. He doesn't mind it. It keeps him safe. It keeps the other dog safe. And it keeps me, you know, I, I'm clearly attentive to the dogs, but I don't have to be so vigilant. Like when he's behind me and another dog's behind me, I don't have to have eyes in the back of my head. You know, I, it's a trustworthy tool and it's so worth having on for dogs that are questionable like him. Right, right. Good boy, Elba, shake it off. Let's go, you guys. Let's continue our ski. Come on, Louie. I like seeing Alvis less with me and more up with them, kind of, on the outsides, on the fringes, but tail wagging, tail up, being more part of the pack. Good boy, Tayoga. I'm letting them have the packed path while I create my own. Let's go. Come on, Ace, let's go. Come on. Go on, Louie. Good boy, Fraser. Come on, Elvis. Come on, Fraser. And let's go. Grab my poles. Come on, let's go. Oh, you got cold feet. Come on. We're almost halfway. We get to turn around and it'll be a lot faster on the way back. Good boy, Elvis. Hanging with the pack. Cold feet and all. Good boy. Good boy. Good dog. Yeah. You're good. Oh, you've got the cold feet and you can't lick them. We're going to work on that. Let me help you. It's just so nice out here. And all these guys are doing so well. We had to go off pow. Off piste, I mean. Into the pow. Looks like some elk tracks there. We're at the high point, though. It's all downhill. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, pups. Let's go. They're like, well, let's go in the trough. Because it's easier, huh, Tioga? You're having a big pee. What do you guys think? Should we let's go this way? I'm going to let's go this way. You guys can get behind me. Come on, let's go. That's right, Tioga. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Come on, Elvis. Here they all come. Jump the trough. Jump the trunch. There you go, Ace. Come on, doggies. Come on. I got the advantage now, huh? Don't I, Fraser? Good boy, Elvis. Good boy. He really responds to really good encouragement. Good boy, Elvis. Yeah. Good boy, Elvis. Come on, Louie. Louie, where are you going? Come on, Louie. This way. Oh, come on, guy. You got it. Just a little bit further. We'll be back on the hard pack. Come on, Louie. Good boy. Come on, Elvis. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, pups. Good girl, lady. Come on, Tioga. Ace. Let's go, bud. I should have a sled with the way these guys are trucking. You could be pulling me. And then I got these two. Come on, you guys. Um, just a word to people that have dogs like him and or anybody, really, if you have a young dog. I, I didn't know any of these dogs. Remember how a week ago they came? And now we've become a pack. I talked about this recently in a other posts when we were out together. And it's important... Whether you have a reactive dog or an aggressive dog or a friendly dog. Oh, you got a cold paw. Come on, let's go, Tayoga. Um, is to make the entire group of dogs you're with a pack. Don't be taking your dog off and hiding in the corner and being late at night or early morning to avoid every dog. 
because then it's just you and the dog and it creates this weirdness instead of seeing a dog and maybe using precautions and tools like leashes and muzzles and space, which is a, a tactic. Don't be right on top of the dog, but be able to say hi. Oh, there goes a bunny. There went a bunny, Tioga, you saw it. We're not gonna chase it though. No, Tioga, no. If you look back, you'll see a bunny that went running kind of right far out, right in front of those trees. A little tiny bunny. Anyway, you gotta be saying hi to people. If you're with somebody and you have a reactive dog, have that person hold a leash while you go say hi to that dog. Say hi to the people. Don't avoid because that's what you're teaching your dog. Avoidance. And then you get them thinking, oh God, there must be something wrong. It's better if we just stay over here. They must be scary people or dogs. So they will mimic some of what you do and feel your relaxation around it all and your joy and your emotions around saying hello to a friendly stranger. Leave it. Tiger, let's go. Nope. I don't usually say leave it. I usually just say nope. So keep that in mind. Stop avoiding people. And even if you have a friendly dog, be cheerful. Say hi. Say hi to the other dogs. Um, show your dog that people are good. Dogs are good. They're friendly. They're not something to avoid. Um, but again, you need tools and tactics like muzzles and leashes and using space if you have a dog like him. Even him. He was quite reactive. Oh, look at him go now. So there's my food for thought on this pack walk with these pups. And just to like follow up that, if your dog's so nervous and afraid, like, like Albus, he's actually, his behavior has gotten him. Come on, cold foot guy, come on. Has gotten him what he wants. So his owner has been avoiding everything that makes him nervous. You know, no fault to her, no shame, no blame, but it's what happens. The dog is like, oh, I'm nervous. I'm gonna bark and scare people. Now my owner is avoiding everything, so life is good. That's not the best tactic. So seek out a trainer, whatever. Use tools, watch, take a course. Um, Training Without Conflict from Ivan Balabanov is a great course to learn lots of wonderful things to help boost confidence in a dog, but also to help them feel good about themselves. As he says, he wants to make your dog somebody. He wants them to feel good. And so that's what I try to do. We're getting tired though now, aren't we? Okay, we're gonna head on down. Another sidebar is these dogs all of a sudden aren't having as much fun. I mean, they're having fun, but they're working really hard right now. And having seen that bunny, I just wanna talk about off-leash dogs and how if your off-leash dog can't recall, you got no business in the winter, or anytime really, having an off-leash dog. But I wanna speak for this season, because if you see how hard these dogs are working, imagine being a deer who isn't getting fed by a human, as well as a nice, cozy, warm bed at night to recuperate. Um, so I, I do know people that think it's not a big deal to let their animals chase the live large animals because they're not gonna catch them anyway. But it's just really, really not fair to those prey animals that are really working hard in a winter like this. We got a lot of snow on the ground. So keep that in mind. If you think it's okay, then call me. I'd love to chat about it. Send me an email. Watch some of my videos. Use an e-collar to teach a dog 100% reliable off-leash recall, which all these dogs are now knowing. Even you, lady. And I don't even really use the e-collar. I've taught them in a way that they like being with me. They like being around. And they just come back. And yeah, they've, I think they've all felt the e-collar. And they realize, well, you know, that's not even worth it anyway. And she's quite fun. So I'm just going to go back there. Because as soon as we get back there, she's going to say, break or let's go. 
Yeah. Isn't that right, Louie? Mr. Never really been off leash kind of guy. Your mom's been waiting for you to come home so she can have fun with you like this. Got a little downhill action, sort of. Headed back to the pack track. Good. Good girl. Good dogs. Come on, Louie. Come on. Come on, Fraser. So there she goes. And we're going to call her back. Come. Good girl, lady. I did a tone after that. Good girl. Come on, lady. Fresh track right here. Come on, lady. Good girl. Come. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Okay, break. So we don't even need you chasing them a little bit. We're going to let them get some distance as we move on down. They went that way, so we're going to go that way. We didn't see them live, but they were just here. You can always tell how a dog is lit up with her nose, air scenting, and also like Tioga alerting, looking. But we're going to try to get away from where these guys went. It's like Adventure Dog Day Camp. I'd like to get to do some with these guys. Hopefully I will. Now that they're all off leash, we're putting some tracks in. Maybe I'll try to do one next week. But our road is kind of a bear, so maybe that'll mellow out as well. Come on, puppies. You guys are almost there to the track. There they are, all on a line. Fun day. And here we are, almost to the track. Okay, it's going to get a lot easier for you guys. It's going to get a lot easier. Good dogs. You made it. You made it. Good dog. You made it. All right. We're going to get home. These guys are tired. It's nap time. It's nap time. Good outing. Look at how good Elvis is doing. He's a happy guy. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 go. Stay. Good. She went chasing something. I said, nope, she stopped, and then I called her back, and she came, and then I thought, let's have them all come and sit. Good dogs. Good. Good. No. No. Louie. You got to stay, Louie. Break. Let's go. Go, 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 Ace, go. Good boy. Come on, Fraser. Good dogs. Good boys. Good girl. Good boy, bud. So the further she gets from me and closer to deer or animals, the harder it will be to recall. So I'm actually letting... Or think she's going to do it. Or I could say N-O-P-E. Or I could just call her back. But there is a track up that... Up that hillside. I'll show you what I mean. Nope. Come on, lady. Let's go. Nope. Nope. Let's go, lady. Come on. So no e-call or no recall. Let's go. Let's go. Just turning it into a let's go, meaning we're going this way. But she knows it's up there. She keeps looking and there is a fresh track. Anyway, I'm really signing off now. But, um, oh, sorry, Albus. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. Um, just before I saw now, sorry, buddy, that when I do a recall, I'm, I'm very clear. Am I calling you back to me? If you don't come right away, you get e collar tone. And if the tone doesn't turn you around in 1.2 seconds, that tone turns into stimulation if you hold down and press the button. Keep it holding down. 1.2 seconds, it turns into a stimulation so first thing is come not coming press and hold the tone goes on still not coming keep holding and it turns into stimulation still not coming roll it up do it again or keep your finger down and roll it up the dog will come these dogs know it um but once they do, if i do come they have to come all the way to me and sit or check in or get into a heel or a let's go which is what i did right just did right there for lady i didn't really call her i said nope and let's go which means we're moving on okay for real now bye bye <laughs>